All right, so today we're gonna put Prime Yao Ming in the modern NBA. The only twist is we're gonna use this team picker board to basically pick what team he's gonna go to. I could have just put him on the Houston Rockets, but I wanted to make this a little more fun. And because his jersey number is 11, I'm gonna pick box 11. He's going to the Oklahoma City Thunder. That's crazy. Now, Isaiah Joe has number 11, but I'm sorry, Isaiah Joe. This is, uh, you know, good old Yao Ming. So we're definitely giving him the number that he's supposed to have. Now, this is why I say Yao Ming going to the Thunder is crazy because you got Shea Gilgis, who should have won MVP this past season. Yao Ming, Jalen Williams, Chet Holmgren, Alice Caruso, Isaiah Hardenstein, Lou Dort, Aaron Wiggins, Isaiah Joe, Kaysen Wallace. Now, what I want to do here is change Chet to a power forward because Yao is here at center. So I'm changing Chet to a power forward. That's going to make Yao Ming start at center, put Chet at power forward. So now you're starting Shea, Lou Dort, Jalen Williams, Chet, and Yao. Hardenstein, Caruso, six and seven. Wiggins is eight. Joe is ninth. Kaysen Wallace is 10th. We're only running pretty much much a 10 man rotation now Yao Ming does have two years on his contract because if y'all wants to leave we're gonna let y'all leave it's his career we just started him off with whatever team we picked from the team picker board so if y'all wants to leave OKC and go to a different team he can do that first game against Chicago Bulls wow it's an L and Yao Ming goes for 16 points and seven rebounds eight of 14. Shea Gilly had 27 and 13 Jayla Williams 17 4 and 4. Chet had 17 and 4. I also said this is crazy too because y'all know OKC turned into monsters and simulations. Donovan Mitchell 21 and 7. They beat the Cavs 103 to 81. Shea had 36 and 8. Yao had two points and 13 rebounds. He literally took four shots. It might be hard for Yao to really get touches you know on this team right here. He, let's see where he's at right here. Yao Ming 12 and 11. He's taking seven shots. So I don't know you know, if Yao was a big time shot taker when he was playing with like Tracy McGrady and things of that nature, but I'll get down to the first 20 games of the season, see what he's looking like, check his stats out, and see if Yao Ming can dominate the modern NBA at 7 5. I think we're also going to start seeing a lot more taller players in the league. Not saying everybody's going to be Wimby or everybody's going to be Chet or anything of that nature, but we're definitely going to see taller players over the time with more skill come into the NBA. And after the first 20 games, the Oklahoma City Thunder are 15 and 5, puts them second in the Western Conference. The Utah Jazz are third at 15 and 5. And I mean, these are updated rosters as far as like the last move of free agency, whatever the last move was. I think Dinwiddie going to the Mavericks or something of that nature, or Tyus Jones going to the Phoenix Suns. That's what we have here. But looking at the point totals, Yao Ming is fourth on the team in scoring at 13 points, but he is averaging. 12 rebounds a game currently shooting from the field wow where is his career stats can i see what we got here okay 53 percent no three pointers from Yao Ming. and i'll get all the way down to the all-star break and we'll revisit those stats Yao Ming is technically a rookie but he's in a, in his prime but technically a rookie so yeah he could win rookie of the year if i'm not mistaken because i think the player that i swapped him out for was a rookie so yeah this would be Yao Ming's rookie season he could win rookie of the year it just depends you know we got Dalton Connect has won rookie of the year in some of my simulations which I like because I'm a Lakers fan so I like that but we'll see all right so it all started Thunder are 39 and 15 first in the West but the Nuggets and the Mavericks are right behind Eastern Conference the Boston Celtics are looking good at 41 and 14 let's check the standings Lou Dort has a red injury line he's out for one to two weeks Yao Ming has moved up to third on the team in scoring at 15 and 12 still hasn't put up any three-pointers 53 percent from the field is not bad he's also averaging two blocks a game that's good basketball Chet Holmgren two blocks a game basically what is Chet shooting from three he is putting up 38 percent from the three-point line Shea Gilgis is shooting 32 percent from three-point line but he's averaging 25 points a game if he picks that up that could be crazy let's check you out's contract real quick just to see oh he's signed to the team for the next season and then he has a team option for the uh, 25 and 2026 season i actually want to change that like i said i'm gonna let Yao kind of decide his career a little bit so i'm gonna put Yao on we'll give him put him on three years put y'all at a three-year contract and then we'll give him a player option let's see second team player option right here so that should change his contract up a little bit and then Yao can do whatever he wants to do so he has this season and next season and then he has a player option so he could go back to back with the oklahoma city thunder he is now a 93 overall 
who definitely got some improvement right there. Ooh, I'm not sure. He wouldn't be an all-star this year because those numbers, it's not the old NBA. It's not getting you into the all-star game. We did get Shake Gilgis, though. Wow, Yao did make the all-star team. Hold on. I didn't think he would make the all-star team, but he literally made the all-star team as a rookie. So, yeah, Yao Ming will probably win rookie of the year this season. I mean, this is quite normal. Luka winning MVP, almost getting a triple-double. Uh, Alexander Saar, I promise y'all, he stinks. 13 and 7 should not win him rookie of the year. A man Thompson, six man, Wimby Depoy, Jalen Johnson, most improved. Steph is clutch player. OKC's coach, coach of the year. We have a 61 21 record, finishing first in the Western Conference. This is all NBA first team. LeBron James making all NBA first team at 187. It's crazy. Let's see, Shea on all NBA second. No Yao. All defensive first, no Yao, no Yao whatsoever. Rudy Gobert made an all defensive team again. I know he's a four time defensive player of the year, but he had 2.2 blocks a game and 0.6 steals per game. I really want to see what Yao Ming was averaging 2.1 blocks, 0. Point. I mean, you can make a case for Yao, okay? We still are missing Jalen Williams, or well, I think it was Lou Dort. Now it's Jalen Williams, two to four weeks, he's out. OKC, okay, we finished first in the Western Conference. We got Mike Conley, Anthony Edwards, and Carl Anthony Towns in the first round of the playoffs. We take game one, and they take game two. Yao Ming led us in scoring, though. 20 points, 10 rebounds. Anthony Edwards, 31, 5, and 6. Nas Reed, 20, and 7. Towns, a double-double. Oh, wait. Rob Dillingham, 14, and 3. Okay. I, I thought it was going to be a little something different. Okay. 2-1 OKC. 3-1 OKC. 4-1 OKC, we played the number four seed, LA Lakers, D'Lo, Dalton, LeBron, Vando, AD, Mitchell Robinson. Hmm, don't know how that happened, but he's there. Game one, let's get to it, simulate the round first. We got Boston, Indiana, Milwaukee, Philly, Denver, Dallas, us, LA. Game one goes to the Lakers. Yao puts up 22-11. D'Lo, 32-3-6. If we get that, D'Angelo Russell, in the playoffs, we could actually beat the Nuggets. LeBron with a triple-double. AD 26 9 and 2. Let's go through the next game. Wow, Lakers win back to back 30 and 10 from AD, 27 and 7 from LeBron. The Lakers do have JJ Reddick as the coach right now. I don't see Bronny James. So either Bronny got demoted to the G League or they made a trade for him. And I doubt they would trade him. But you know, we take this game. Oh my goodness, we beat the Lakers by 59 points in game three. But they're up 3 1. So are we going to go out in the second round? With Yao Ming being on Oklahoma City Thunder, if it is a close game, we're going to hop in and see, try to catch a little Yao Ming action. And we're going down to the fourth quarter, four minutes left, basically seven point game. It's a four point game, a minute 37. Let's hop in. On the floor for OKC, we got Caruso, Shea, Chet, Yao, and Lou Dort. Pass it off to Lou Dort. Blocked. Yao with the rebound. Pump fakes. Puts it up. It's easy bucket. 122, 116, OKC. Lakers got D Lo, Dalton Connect, Christian Wood. Is that Mitchell Robinson in the corner and Anthony Davis? So big lineup right here. AD missed y'all with the rebound. That's definitely a big lineup. LeBron at point guard would make that lineup even bigger. Ballas Caruso has the rock. Yao sprints into a ball screen. Maybe not a sprint, kind of slow. Caruso off the screen, drops it off to Yao. Yao over Wood, easy bucket. OKC is trying not to go home right now. D'Lo pulls off a three. He missed. Rebound check. Caruso and connect. Caruso has nothing. Drops it off the chat for three. It's good. OKC is actually cooking. D'Angelo Russell trying to find something. I think he goes back to AD here. And he does. AD versus Chet. Anthony Davis. Chet Holmgren. That's a bucket. It might be a bucket right here by AD. I called it. I knew it. I know ball. I know ball. Lakers got a foul unless they just... Uh, the Lakers are probably giving it up because they're down nine. No foul happening. OKC is going to dribble out the clock and win game five. Jalen Williams finished with 28. Shea had 27. Yao put up 18 and 14 on 9 of 11 from the field. That's actually a good ball. Anthony Davis, 26, 9 and 7. LeBron, 22, 9 and 10. D'Lo, 19, 2 and 5. So we're hopping back in the Simcast for game six and see if the Thunder can push it to seven and get to that Western Conference Finals, but it doesn't look like it. I mean, it looks like the Lakers are running away with the game. They're not getting close. Lakers literally take the blowout win. OKC is eliminated. Chet puts up 26, 2 and 2. Shea 21, 5 and 7. Yao 15 and 8. Christian Wood led the Lakers in scoring 28 and 5. He might actually play more under JJ Reddick. 25, 2 and 8 from LeBron. 24, 10 and 7 from AD. So we now got Boston, Philly, Dallas, LA simulate the playoffs. Wow, we get Dallas 
versus Philly in the finals, which could actually be a real thing because the Mavericks do have Klay Thompson, which is a great pickup for them. And then Philadelphia, you know, got Paul George. So this could be an NBA Finals matchup where the Mavericks win in seven. And Luka takes the Finals MVP averaging 38 and 10. Now, normally in player retirements, LeBron James retires after that first season. But I think he would actually play maybe two more seasons. This upcoming season, 24-25, and then maybe 25-26. So he doesn't retire here. Everybody else, though, they're out of there. We'll check the draft lottery because OKC has a lot of picks. But I don't think they'll get anything out the lottery and they won't so we'll skip the lottery results the grizzlies actually get the first pick in the nba draft which is pretty crazy and it says the 2024 nba draft but it's really 2025 the way that the roster was set up i had to start at the beginning of the 23 24 season but the grizzlies are on the clock and they pick cooper flag you get cooper flag with john ja moran after you just got zach Eady. that's pretty nice the pelicans have the two pick i don't know who this guy is oh the 7-2 center from duke that may be something good to put next to Zion Williamson. The Rockets, Drake Powell, that has to be like a made-up player. Hugo Gonzalez, we don't know who that is. And then the fifth pick is Ace Bailey to the Toronto Raptors. So our roster didn't change too much. Our core players are still here. Yao was 29 years old now last year on his deal before the player option. I don't think we add, well, VJ Edgecombe is a nice young athletic player that got drafted. Dante Exum comes to OKC. So yeah, everybody here. We still have our core. Um, I don't know if the game changed. Nope, Chet Holmgren is still a power forward, but he's an 88 overall. So I don't know if maybe I stunted Chet Holmgren's potential because he normally goes up a little bit. He probably would've been like a 90 right now. But if I put Chet at center, I don't know if that moves him out of the starting lineup. It doesn't. So I left Chet at center. It still keeps him at power forward. So that's fine. So our starting lineup is still the same with Shea, Lou, Jalen, Chet, and Yao, Hardenstein. Yeah, our 10-man rotation. Well, we now got Nikola Topic in 10 instead of Isaiah Joe. But our rotation, for the most part, is pretty much the same. So we'll get down to the All-Star break, see if Yao Ming makes another All-Star game, and see if OKC can put, the put together a championship run, you know, before Yao decides if he wants to stay in OKC or go somewhere else. All-Star break, OKC is looking good, baby. 46 and 8 first in the western conference and then the hawks are 36 and 19 this may be the year that okc you know wins our target list i don't know what's happening here why Jalen williams is on the target list and why yao is here but also i would put yao is untouchable but he could leave now let's check you know yao is pleased with how things are going chad is fine wow we got chris middleton hold on chris middleton came to the oklahoma city thunder was that a trade though how did Chris Middleton get to the Thunder? We signed him. He was a free agent. We signed him one year, $8.2 million. They actually gave Lou Dort a two-year, $33 million. So that's fine right there. Let's see if Yao Ming made the All-Star team again on the West. I don't see him. No Yao this year. So Shea makes it, but Yao doesn't. What is Yao actually averaging? Because he made it averaging like 12 and 14, but now he's averaging... 15 and 11 fourth on our team in scoring this says chet holmgren has only started four games this season is that because wow they put chris middleton at starting power four because i made chet a center okay i'm switching that back because chet would probably start regardless so we're putting chet back at power forward we're gonna change this and it moves him back to our starting power forward and he's now a 90 overall Yao ming has went up to a 91 that is the way we need it. That's the way we want to see it. Jokic takes the MVP. He literally averaged the triple-double. I don't have to do the roundups. 23, 11, and 10. Shot 41% from three, 83 from free throw, 52 from the field. Cooper Flagg in Memphis takes the rookie of the year. Dylan Harper is sixth man. Wimby is depoy. Matt Bazell is most improved. Paolo gets clutch player. And OKC's coach get coach of the year again. 67 and 15 record. This is all NBA first, all NBA second, third, Defense first, defense second, where we got Chet Holmgren on the all-defensive team. First round matchup versus eight-seeded Portland. Scoot Henderson, Anthony Simon, Shaden Sharp, Denny Avdia, DeAndre Ayton. Yao Ming finished the season averaging 14 and 10. Shot basically 55% from the field, two blocks a game. So Portland really shouldn't be a matchup for us. We take game one, but wow, it goes 1-1. Scoot puts up 25. I wonder if Scoot had a good season this year. 
Okay, 15 points, seven assists. Shot 31% from three. Wow, okay, all right. Anthony Simons had 25. Him and Jeremy Grant. Well, Jeremy Grant's not even on here. He might have left, or they traded him. Jalen Williams, 23. Shea, 19. Middleton, 13. Hardenstein, 13. Yao, 11 to 10. I mean, at 7-5, easy double-double. 2-1 -double. versus Portland, 3-1, 4-1. We go to the next round against the Kings. Do they still have DeRozan? Yes, they do. So Fox, their rookie, Devin Carter, well, second-year player, Devin Carter in the simulation. DeMar, Keegan Murray, Sabonis, Malik Monk, Malcolm Brogdon, Keon Ellis. I don't know if Bro Brogdon's not in Sacramento but you know we are in year two so things happen but it doesn't matter we sweep the Kings going to the next round versus Denver who's still wow Denver has Jimmy Butler I don't know if we beat Denver with Jimmy Butler on their roster I, I don't know if that happens even though he's an 88 okay 1-0 1-1 Lou Dort 24 Yao 10 and 11 Jimmy led them in scoring with 28 a game I don't know I, I don't know. This this Denver team is already hard to beat, but with Jimmy Butler, okay, never mind. Three one, four one. We get to the NBA Finals. The Pacers literally make it to the finals a lot in my simulations. I don't know who Johnny Furphy is. Uh, Pascal Siakam is a ninety overall. Tyrese Halliburton. They picked up Clint Capella and Brooke Lopez. Why do they have so many bigs on this roster? Let's see what happens though. One zero, two zero, three zero. Sweep. We swept the Indiana Pacers to win the championship. Shea Gilgis gets the finals MVP with 21 points, four boards, and nine assists. He shot 50, 40, 90 in the NBA finals. Player retirements, LeBron finally decides to retire. Derrick Rose been retired. I don't know why he's even here. Batum's going, Brooke Lopez, Vucevic, Danny Green. Notable names, Klay Thompson won a chip last year. He's done. Lorenzo and Will Clyburn are EuroLeague players. That's crazy. It says 2025 NBA draft, but it's really 2026. Brooklyn Nets get the first pick, and they pick Cameron Boozer. He is very nice. Carlos Boozer's son, he's like number one and number two in his class. The Rockets, they pick Darren Peterson. I don't know if that's an actual player or an AI. The Grizzlies, he's cold too. Just watched him play like EYBL. He was averaging like 23. So the Grizzlies get him this year, Cooper Flag last year. They're putting those wing players around John Morant. Cole P is nice. And then the fifth pick, I don't know if that's a real person or not. Wow, Yao Ming literally left the Oklahoma City Thunder and joined LaMelo Ball and the Charlotte Hornets on a one-year $13 million deal. I wonder if this came with a player option or not. Let's see. Oh, he's a one-time champion, one-time all-star. No, he's literally going to be an unrestricted free agent after this year. So LaMelo, Yao, Brandon Miller, Trey Murphy, Miles Bridges, Corey Kispert, Grant Williams, Damian, whoever the hell that is, Nick Smith Jr., Bruno Fernando. That's pretty interesting. Let's see this lineup here. Okay, LaMelo, Kispert, Miller, Bridges, Yao Ming. I would probably put Trey Murphy in this starting lineup, but I'm going to let whoever their coach is, Charles Lee, do this. And Charles Lee is actually their real coach. And I'm going to simulate to the All-Star break. Now, one thing about it, though, in my simulations, the Hornets have been a good team. And by year like three or four, they do make it to the finals or the eastern conference finals a good amount so at face value it's weird to see y'all go to charlotte but based on simulations i don't know at the all-star break the hornets are 38 and 17 but where does that sit them wow they're really first in the eastern conference i told you the hornets play good basketball Lamelo is literally averaging let's see 20 points, 5 boards, 9 assists, shooting 47% from the three-point line. Brandon Miller's averaging 20. Miles Bridges is averaging 13. Yao is averaging 15 and 13. So he's involved in that offense a little bit more. And he's playing better, 59% from the field. LaMelo's a 92. Brandon Miller's a 91. Yao is a 91. So, I mean, I guess I can see how the Hornets are first in the East. But OKC is still first in the West. At 42 and 14. And Yao Ming is back on the All-Star too with LaMelo Ball. That's crazy. I don't know if he made it because of these injuries, but Yao Ming's an All-Star, so it don't matter. Jokic get a back-to-back -back MVP though. Cameron Boozer, told y'all he was nice. One rookie of the year. Dylan Harper, another six man. Wimby, another depoy. Don't know who that is. Jokic clutch player. And the Nuggets coach, Mike Malone, gets coach of the year because the Nuggets go 60 and 22. All-NBA first, second. I'm just looking for Yao Ming. Don't see him anywhere oh wait y'all mean all defensive second team i like what's happening and he finished the season averaging 15 and 13 and literally his highest amount of block totals this whole simulation so let's get to the playoffs where the hornets are 
the first seed in the playoffs because they finished with a 55 and 27 record boston celtics first round still got jb still got jt still got their core because they spend so much money on signing those guys so game one goes to charlotte two goes to boston three to charlotte four to boston five to charlotte okay i, I was a little nervous there i thought we might lose to the celtics in the first round but it looks like we're hooping cleveland wins game one 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 two one let's go game four two two three two wow we gotta hit the simcast and see do we lose to the cleveland cavaliers in the second round i don't know if it happens i told y'all the hornets they really hoop a couple years later in the simulation it looks like they are gonna run off with this game 130 to 114 and we'll hop back into the simcast for game seven and see can the hornets put it together oh my goodness are they gonna do it are we gonna go to the eastern conference finals Yao Ming on the Charlotte Hornets. They're, ooh, whoa, I didn't know it was going to be that close. The Hornets get eliminated in the second round. Jaden Hardy had 19. Wait a minute. Yao had 12. Where is no way? No way. Wow, we lost Brandon Miller and LaMelo Ball. Severe ankle sprain. That's crazy because LaMelo always sprains his ankles. The Thunder didn't make it either. So Yao don't feel bad about leaving. Raptors versus Mavericks in the NBA Finals. Mavs winning seven. Luka gets the Finals MVP. So Yao Ming in the modern NBA finished with a career average of 15 points and 12 rebounds. Appreciate y'all for stopping by and sticking through. I'll see y'all in the next video though. Peace.